Good evening, I'm Greg Floyd. And I'm Dory Marlin. The lieutenant governor is expected to serve out his term, which runs through year's end, and then he plans to return to Rochester. Lieutenant Governor Duffy was in New York City today. Our sister station from Rochester was there as well and asked him what was behind the decision. This is something you'll only see on 6. The governor and I certainly uh, are, have discussed this, but I officially uh, sent a letter to the governor today uh, that I won't be running next year. It's not something that I, I made my decision just recently. It's something that certainly I've thought through uh, for some time. And uh, I guess two things. First of all, it's a, it's a life decision. It's not uh, a political decision. It's not a job decision. When I, when I joined the governor four years ago, he knew uh, I never had any inclination to run for statewide office myself or seek a, a political career. I joined him because he asked me to join him. And as Lieutenant Governor Duffy referred to there, this wasn't so much a question of if as it was when. It's been clear for some time that Duffy wouldn't be on the ticket with Cuomo this fall. And now the speculation over a replacement can ramp up. One state lawmaker told me this weekend they think it will be Kathy Hochul, the former congresswoman from Erie County. Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown and even Republican Onondaga County Executive Joni Mahoney have also been talked about as frontrunners. It's all going to happen fairly soon. The state Democratic Convention is in just two weeks.